The synodic period of Jupiter is 399 Earth days. This is the time it takes for Jupiter to return to the same position relative to Earth and the Sun, as seen from Earth. The difference between Jupiter's orbital period, about 11.86 Earth years, and Earth's orbital period causes this longer synodic period. Although faint and less prominent than Saturn's, Jupiter has a ring system made primarily of dust particles from its moons, discovered in 1979 by the Voyager 1 spacecraft. Jupiter radiates more heat than it receives from the Sun, due to the slow contraction of the planet under its own gravity. This internal heat likely contributes to the planet's active weather systems. This powerful radiation band around Jupiter has crippled any probe that went through it. Jupiter Moon Io passes right through the heart of this radiation band, receiving 3,600 rem per day on surface. For a comparison, anyone exposed to this much radiation would be dead within four hours. Jupiter's atmosphere is made up of three distinct cloud layers, primarily composed of ammonia, ammonium hydrosulfide, and water vapor. These layers contribute to the planet's banded appearance. Jupiter experiences massive lightning storms many times powerful than those on Earth. These lightning bolts are typically found in the water cloud layer deep within the atmosphere. Roughly 90% of Jupiter is thought to be hydrogen, 10% helium, and then trace amounts of methane, ammonia, and others. The cloud layer is only about 50 kilometers thick and contains ammonia crystals much like on Saturn, but the coloration comes from compounds heating up from deep within Jupiter and then rising. These compounds are known as chromophores, and when they reach the clouds, they interact with the UV light of the sun to create these spectacular multicolored bands. Even if their colors do change, the actual latitude of these bands remains consistent enough to be given identifying designations, but they can vary in width over the course of time. Lots of storms and turbulence occur where these bands meet and it is the reason and engine behind Jupiter's very famous Great Red Spot. Jupiter much like Saturn, under the atmosphere are gaseous, then liquid, and then metallic forms of hydrogen. The further into the planet you go, the greater the pressure becomes. Under immense pressure, hydrogen may be acting as a metal. And beneath that is an ice or a rocky core. Recreating the same pressure and conditions that immense is not possible on Earth and thus can't really know what properties these materials have at the core of Jupiter. Like and subscribe for more.